Yeah, you see that beard coming in nice. Eventually, it'll fill out again like it used to be. But what is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Sean P. Back with another video. First off, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel, Sean P. TV. And if you're subscribed, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And today's video is my day 13 update of my BNSF conductor training. Uh, yeah, BNSF conductor training. Day 13. Um, what is there to update? What is going on? Uh, yesterday had a new um foreman training me. Uh, that's the thing with the whole training process. You're gonna be doing different jobs. You know on the yard, on the road, you're not going to be doing the same thing every day. So that's one thing when you apply for the railroad. It's not the same job every day, especially if you're on the extra board. So keep that in mind when you apply for the railroad. Uh, what did I do yesterday? Let's see. Um, my foreman kind of was talking me through like the hand signals and what to say on the radio when you're going in between the locomotive and the car you know, saying point on ground, you know, student point, point on the ground, you know, such and such going in between or standing in between. There's a difference. Um, trying to get used to, you know, uh, with the air hoses, with the glad hand, trying to put those two together. It's kind of, I don't know what it is about glad hands and the air hose. I'm just, I, I, having kind of an issue with it. I'll get it sometimes and sometimes I don't. And everybody showed me a different way how to do it. Use your left hand, use your right hand. If you're right-handed, do it this way. I think I'll just eventually find my own way of what works for me. But uh, what else is there to update? Just pretty much got more acclimated on the radio, what to say on the radio, car counts when you're uh, doing a shoving movement uh lining up switches again with crossover moves make sure that you line up the right switches because that could cause a derail and you got to double check these uh switches when you're lining them because any little gap in in that in that switch could cause a derail so you got to what they tell us in class is it's like inspect line inspect which pretty much means inspect it the first time make sure there's nothing in between the switch before you switch it over line it and then inspect it again to make sure that it's lined properly. So that's one thing you'll learn in class as you go along. And you're going to constantly be doing switches, especially when you're on the road, especially when you're in the yard. So keep that in mind when you apply for this, you know, conductor training. And that's pretty much it. I mean, my foreman was pretty cool with me and just kind of was talking to me through stuff. And I don't like everybody who's been training me has been really like, awesome honestly like they've been really you know willing to help like they because they've been through it it's like man like they kind of been in your shoes it might have been a long time ago but they've been in your shoes but uh that's pretty much it like in terms of the update i mean there's learning how to clear an assignment and start another one whenever you sign up for a job and you finish that job you have to clear up the assignment and then start, and if you want to go for another assignment, you have to go for that. And then you have to do it within a certain amount of time, too. So keep that in mind. Uh, what else? Learning how to log, you know, tie up on the computer. And that's pretty much just logging your time, like when you clocked in, when you actually started the job and when you clock out. It's kind of really but just keeping track of time because it's a transportation type job. You have to keep a tally of your time on there. But uh, what else is there to update? That's pretty much it. It's just I'm getting a little bit more familiar with riding, like riding on a locomotive, getting like a way more comfortable getting on there. And uh, just going along for the ride. I mean, just, just taking it all in day by day. It's all you can do. I mean, you can't take it all in at once. You're not going to get someone's 15, 20 year experience in one day. So just take it in one day at a time. But uh, this is my update, day 13. I actually go in later on today at 2 o'clock. So. Uh, but I'm going to sum up this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Cut the damn camera off, Sean.